In 1969, Montana declared the swift fox to be extinct within the state's borders. Because after all, the last time someone had documented actually seeing one of these was on the east boundary of Glacier National Park back in 1918. Then in the 1980s, thanks to our Canadian neighbors, North America's smallest canine launched a big comeback. Canada began to reintroduce swift fox in an effort to reestablish them on the prairie. And then the first international census was in 2000 and 2001. This is a repeat of what was done uh, five years ago. Uh, we are having pretty good success. We're capturing uh, approximately twice as many fox as we've caught before. Uh, the swift fox is transferred to a bag and it's handled by one of the crew members whose only job is the handler and the other crew is the processor who uh, collects the data. One of the more important facets of this census is the cooperative nature between the United States and Canada to make this swift fox reintroduction one of the most successful reintroductions of canines in the world. Montana biologists have been working closely with the U.S. Bureau of Land Management, the Calgary Zoo, and the World Wildlife Fund, all for the swift fox. An animal once thought to have vanished from our landscape. This is Mike Gurnett, out among Montana and Canada's fish, wildlife, and parks.